Uh, this one, I'm going to explain to you what makes Smash poor, what destroys your Smash, is a big issue. I have spent how many years? Yeah, 41, two years in badminton, player, coach, edge coach. I see this problem so much. What? They turn their face aside and they take a shuttlecock side of your, their, their body. So watch this. So I'm ready like that. Opponent hit the shuttlecock from there to here. So lots of people at the beginning, they learn this way. They ready, shuttle come, they turn it that way. So their view become there. And then when they hit it, they turn it again and then hit it that way. It looks like a shooter. They set that way and then suddenly change and shoot. The archery player set that way and then change and shoot. It, it looks like that. The dart player, target is there. He said dart like this, and they draw there. To me, it's so not logical. Shuttle is coming from there to here. I am hitting back to the other side. Why my face, my impact point has to be changed sideways? and then hit it that way. It makes a swing, swing. It makes this player lose the vision, target vision. Target is there, but he has to look, she has to look that way, and then hit it that way. I saw this kind of a, a beginner, intermediate players so much. If I see 10 players, Eight or nine players normally do that way. So watch the shuttlecock. So you are ready here. Shuttlecock is there, Long, longer back. Then your face should remain there. So I watch shuttlecock. I can feel the court. So I can control it where. But watch this. This player is ready, shuttle comes come, and they turn it and hit it there. They turn and they hit the side. So same question. If I say to you, if you hit your smash over there 10 times, and then seven or eight smash goes there, I will give you a million pounds. Then would you smash there, turn your face and hit it there like this? No, you won't, because you don't know where you're going. You will see shuttle and then corner together. You will see there. So you want to feel that, you want to see the shuttlecock, so you can hit it there. That way, you, you, can, you can make a line between string, you can make a string. Between the shuttle and the target, there will be string there. If you take shuttlecock in front of your body, but if you turn your face body, and then make your impact point side of your body, then it's complete guess. Just simply today go to the club and experiment. Look, who will win? The player hit very accurately, not very powerful, but very accurately. But A player 
once in a while, hit very hard, but shuttle goes everywhere. He cannot beat the other one. But furthermore, taking shuttle side of your body in smash or clear, you have to use only arm. Your body is there. Your body weight is not going in to the shuttlecock. So it's not really powerful either. So your weight has to go, your body has to go behind it and then goes. Here, here, like that. Here, so my whole weight go to the shuttlecock. And then I can feel where it go. If you ask me, Lee, technically, what is most important things in badminton? I would say taking shuttlecock in front of your body is the most important technique in badminton. I call that diamond technique. No other technique can beat that technique because shuttle is there, you know where it goes. You hit, you're ready. You have a recovery, you have a vision, you can make so much deceptions. If you cannot take shuttle in front of your body, if you take a side of your body, turn your face away, you are only able to do 10% of badminton skills. 90% of badminton skills you are not able to do because Shuttlecock is not in front of your body. And your vision is away from the target. Shuttle, target has to be one line. That way, not that way.